This episode of the Modern Rogue brought to you by Squarespace. Head on over to squarespace.com slash rogue. That's R-O-G-U-E. Sign up for a free trial. And when you do sign up for the service, use promo code rogue. Get 10% off. It's finally happening. The return of the curse of Satan's trident. Yes. yes. It looks yes. more like machine than I remember. Yes. Upgrades. It's all Frankenstein. Are you Upgrades. sure this didn't just fall over and break? <laughs> and then it's, uh, I cannot confirm. Corey brought us this amazing gift last time, something you built in the warehouse that fires off alcohol-propelled rockets. Yes. And the people in the comments uh, had all sorts of uh, upgrade suggestions. Yeah, dude. Now Some we get of to them be... were insane. Yes. Uh, no, we, we, we get to be totally sciencey now, right? Science adjacent. Science adjacent. Okay, so I suppose we have to start by taking some measurements because last time, like, it was almost nighttime. We we're like, just, just let's see if it works. Let's see if it works. Yeah, and, and it worked. Now let's. I guess we'll figure out how far our default ammunition goes mm -hmm. and about what speed, speed and maybe, maybe I, if we can figure out a way to test penetrating power. I don't know. I think we can do that. Yeah. All right. Let's take measurements. For our baseline, I figure, what, we'll kind of get a loose sense of accuracy, maybe aim for the Samson and the Chooch car. Absolutely. And then uh, and then we'll figure out how far it goes. I'll measure that. You want to get speed? Yep, I'll do that. Got a speed gun. Oh, right here. Fantastic. All right, here we go. Well, let's get some ammo. I love how I just pulled it out of the bag and immediately con soloed. <laughs> <laughs> we should probably remind everyone, like, uh, the way this works is there's a fuel layer mixture, and we got a clicky thing that makes a spark. Sparky mm -hmm. goes boom, boom. Get a fuel little... shoots the thing. Yeah, you shake it up a little bit to get mm -hmm. some stoichiometry. stoichiometry. Mm. Of course. KPH. What the hell does that mean? Oof. <laughs> oh, yeah, helmets. I'm more concerned about ear protection that we forgot oh. again. Oh, can we do that? Yeah, yeah I think we should do ear that. protection. Those were loud. Okay, test number one. Three, two, one. 111 miles per hour. What? Wow. That's amazing. That's what it says. That wow. sounds fast. That's, that's pretty fast. You could see it's spinning sideways. Yeah. I think the commenters were right, guys. What? The hell you say? <laughs> Test one made it, it looks like 84, eight inches. All right, attempt two. And three, two, one. <laughs> it definitely curved to the right on that one. Okay, that one said 102. Uh, okay, 73 feet, six inches. But this one hit a tree. I feel like that counts for something, right? Yeah, that's definitely a testament to its accuracy, right? Because it definitely hooked right. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, one more for science. Test number three in three, two, one. Uh-oh. All right, three, two, one. Oh, that one was tasty. 115, our fastest yet. Okay, here we go. I'm actually really glad to see such consistent results, you know? Yeah. 79, four inches. All right, so we got some baseline measurements. Mm -hmm. Corey, if you were to distill pretty much all the advice of everyone shouting at us from the comments, what, what does it boil down to? Aerodynamics package. Talking about our package. Yes. Always. Fins to stabilize it in flight, and then a nose cone. I mean, so in other words, make it look more like a rocket? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. If we were better people, we would like hand carve uh, the fins and the, we just bought but a we're, thing. But we're smarter That's people. Fine. Can I just celebrate like we won the, the War of the Roses? You the, mean the story that Game of Thrones is loosely yeah, based on? I, I, just, I was actually thinking of the Kentucky Derby. Gotcha. Oh, that's nice. Sorry, I'm celebrating. <laughs> So here's the hard part. Uh -huh. I need you to screw that into there. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, he's almost had, nope, nope, <laughs> nope, there we go. Now see, check that out, isn't that cool? How are you feeling about knives today? Uh, I, I, I feel pretty shrimpy? good. We, we just wanna kinda yeah. cut this guy in half, right? Yeah. All right. <laughs> What's with your knife? You like that? <laughs> it looks like a, a raptor's talon. So I guess, I guess we need to dry this off because this type of tape doesn't play nice when it's wet. Well, somebody hadn't celebrated everywhere. <laughs> it was worth it. <laughs> we probably don't have to be super precise on this, right? No. I mean, that's gotta be good. 
Oh, that's right. We're on the outside. So this is only for aerodynamics. Correct. Uh, yeah. I, I was thinking like, that's a bad seal. And then I realized it doesn't have to be a good one. Dude, that looks like a rocket. Boom. I like Not it. A... How big a difference? Percentage. Place your bets right now. Closest oh, okay. is the winner. Okay. I say 17% improvement. Oh, see, I was going to say 15. No, no, no. I'll, no. I'll, take, I'll take the over. I'll say 20. Okay. Oh, no, no. I'm, no, no, no. Oh, really? You don't get the really? over on that. Oh, no, no. Wait, that's 35% more. 35? 33. 35. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. 15, I, 15 I, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. I, all, have faith in our commenters. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I have faith in them as well. I just don't have faith in I have you. faith in them to strike right at my heart <laughs> and say the exact thing I'm worried about. All right, look at that. More science. Let's go. Let's, let's test. Let's do it. It does look more badass. It does. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, it does. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, what? Yeah. Wrong side. I was, I was like, like <laughs> wrong side, everybody. I was like, oh, I don't understand this at all. <laughs> I'm going to guess it's not going to go any faster as a result of any of these mods. Probably not a lot. Might actually be slower because of the weight. But I, I, I think it will fly more true. We got to get 96 feet uh, okay. for you. But uh, yes, but not, but not much more because I don't want Corey to be right. <laughs> for me, 92 feet. Okay. Okay. Corey, and for Corey, he it was said 35 percent. 108 feet. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll see. All right, Ooh, here we go. Boy. Uh, what? Uh, oh, oh. You from the <laughs> same spot? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. It's a good effort. <laughs> nice try. All Smart right. Ass. Test number one, three, two, one. Woo! Woo! Over the car. Significantly slower. Slower. 74 miles per hour. Uh, okay, well, I guess I'll see you in an hour <laughs> when I get to the other <laughs> end. No. He's getting close to double now. No. I think you are going to be the closest, though. Well, heck yeah, by a long shot. Good news! Corey was way off! Yeah. Uh -huh. It was 195 feet! <laughs> I told you. <laughs> I told you. Uh, winner, right. winner, winner let's, chicken dinner. Let's try, let's try it again. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Y'all ready for it? New and improved. Take two. Three, two, one. Oh, that's not. Ooh, oh, it hit a tree. Yeah, okay. I'm okay with this. We got to 60 <laughs> miles per hour. I can't believe how much slower miles per hour. it goes. Yeah. 121 and two inches. All right, one more. One more for science. Test All right, number. All trial three. Ready. In three, two, one. Oh, that was gorgeous. Oh, oh no. Oh, you hit the tree again. 65 miles per hour. 130 feet. All right, I ain't no math wizard, but I'm pretty sure that was more than 35% increase. I think so. <laughs> uh, I am surprised that it went so much slower, but I guess that makes sense because it's the same amount of energy moving more mass. Yep. But once it starts moving, it's more aerodynamic and everything. Hey, let's do something stupid now. Okay, yes. Now, I promise in just a moment we will get to shenanigans, but first I wanted to go over some of that science that Brian promised at the beginning of the episode. We get to be totally sciencey now, right? So let's run through a couple of things. There are two primary variables at play, of course, the nose cone, which makes it more aerodynamic, cuts down on drag, and allows the bottle to fly through the air a little bit easier. And then you have the fins. The fins are important for stability. In order to kind of understand this, you have to understand the center of gravity. So if you have something like this, um, it is the averaging of the weight is where the center of gravity is. Then when you have uh, objects that are moving through a medium, you have the center of pressure. While the center of gravity is the point at which the bottle rotates around, the center of pressure is the point at which aerodynamic forces like drag and lift act through. If you want stable flight, you'll need the center of pressure to be behind the center of gravity closer to the fins. The fins help move the center of pressure back and they do this really interesting complex dynamic that is called restoring forces. So basically if you have like a gust of wind um, that pushes on the bottle while it is mid flight, the fins are going to apply a specific type of lift um, that kind of 
reorients the bottle to maintain pointing in the correct direction. Basically, anytime we shot the standard bottle, it would immediately start tumbling. It started tumbling, presumably because the center of pressure wasn't far back enough, and there's no restoring force to course correct the bottle once it gets uh, unstable. And as I started looking back at the footage, I, I came to the realization that, oh, of course, when the standard bottle is tumbling, it is basically acting as an air brake for itself. Every time it does a 180 revolution and it has its broadside forward it is basically increasing the surface area it has tremendous uh, resistance and drag and it's slowing down every half revolution so something that really stood out to us at the time was the speed difference that we were noticing the standard bottles were way faster than the uh, improved bottles but as we were shooting this we suspected that the improved bottles were maintaining that speed much more efficiently over time it's kind of a simple assumption if you recognize that you know at the 80 foot mark or so the standard bottles were going zero miles per hour and the improved bottles were not they were continuing to go so i thought it would be illuminating to get measurements along its path to kind of re-measure the speed because presumably the speed that Jason got was the speed immediately after ignition, just the fastest point it can go. So a few days later, Corey and I went out to the fence. We marked off 10 foot measurements at both the 20 foot from ignition point and the 50 foot from ignition point. And we measured the speed of both a standard bottle and an improved bottle. So you can see that by the first set of measurements, the basic bottle has already become slower than the improved bottle. It's already lost all of that momentum that it started with at ignition. Then by the second marking, the improved bottle has only lost 18% of its speed. So it's been able to maintain quite a bit of that. Whereas the basic bottle has lost 62% of its speed. Now, ideally we would have had a bunch of samples from different successful shots to average out the data, which would make our information less reliant upon, you know, the circumstance of those shots. But in classic modern rogue fashion, things didn't exactly work out quite that simply. The standard bottle dropped so quickly that it struggled to get across both measuring marks. And then it got shot over the fence and was irretrievable. So, so we moved on to the improved bottle, which our very first shot was absolutely perfect. But the heat of launching it warped the nozzle of the bottle, which made it so that we couldn't shoot it anymore and we were all out of bottles and all out of time. But I think even these few samples give us some insight into the dynamics of the bottles in flight over time and how drastically they were improved over the basic bottle. Uh, back, to, uh, back to shenanigans. So we're like those guys who are constantly carrying glass panes oh, left and right. So and like the car and the car chase could go blasting through. How often do you think that actually happened? A hundred percent today, we get to be those guys. Now I want to drive through a pane of glass. <laughs> That's got it with the car. Put it on the list. It's on the oh, list. Oh, it's a good idea. This insulation we've used as a card target and it's good because it's kind of brittle. Cards embed themselves real nice. I don't know for sure if this is going to penetrate through. I'll be really surprised because it's, it's, uh, it's pretty it's, sturdy. It's, it's harder than I would expect. How thick is it? Like an inch? Not even an inch. Yeah, like three quarters of an inch, I believe. Yeah. All right, the final test, penetration power for improved ammunition for Satan's Trident, and probably a bad idea for Brian and Jason. Count me in. Three, two, one. Go! <laughs> oh, wow. You wanted to stand in front of this. You thought it would be a good idea. I thought it was going to be hilarious to get shot this. with this. Wow. Oh, oh hell no. God, that was amazing. That's a broken rib. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we dodged a bullet, a literal bullet, <laughs> yeah. a literal bullet. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, keep the ideas coming. Satan's Trident 3.0, coming soon. What can we do next? Let us know. <laughs>
Okay, first the part I've been saying for 10 years. Squarespace, as you know, is a perfect place for a blog, portfolio, any kind of website where you have a message that you wanna get out to the world, don't wanna have to worry about a bunch of technical mumbo jumbo, you just want it to look good and get your word out. That's what Squarespace does. Award-winning designs, easy as can be, whether you're technical or not, but they keep making the service better and better. For example, if you're an independent creative, maybe you have part of the message you wanna get out to everybody totally free, but then your hardcore fans, you wanna set up a secret clubhouse. They've got a new feature that lets you set up gated members only content now. You can finally create a VIP room where you share special content for your most hardcore fans. I'm telling you, these guys are dedicated and they just get better and better. Don't take my word for it though. Head on over to squarespace.com slash rogues Sign up for that free trial. Play around with it. You're going to fall in love with it. Spoiler alert. And when you do sign up, make sure to use promo code ROGUE, R-O-G-U-E. It keeps us in business and gets you 10% off. Offer and link in the description below. I think I got that in like sixth grade okay. when we went to like the... Uh, was it a carnival? Do you know, do you know what it was? The uh, Medieval Times. Medieval, medieval Times. Medieval Times had like a knife section. And I thought that was the coolest thing ever as a I've, sixth grader. And I've it's never been, been with me ever since. Oh, dude, Medieval Times is the jam. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta go to Medieval You've Times. You've never been to Medieval Times? No. Oh my god. That's uh, field trip.